level. We have our 400 pound capacity rice cooker. It's actually tilted on its side in the, in the distance there. So a little bit larger than the four quart one you probably have at home. So we actually have to cook in layers. Each layer is about six inches and cooks for about an hour, just to make sure that it's all thoroughly cooked. Essentially after that, it's edible rice, just doesn't have those outer layers um, since we removed them, which is actually what you seek when you eat rice, just not so good for sake. Now this is a working? What's that? Machi is, is it working machinery or just for the... Oh yeah. The, yeah. Oh yeah, they're working. They're just not, not going right now. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. So when do you guys run it? Like once a month, once a week? Or? Oh, no, almost every day. Oh, every, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, pretty, oh. pretty big operation here. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, look at this door. Yeah, I know. There you go. <laughs> okay. So why, so, why, why the thickness? Um, the thickness? Probably just keep the heat in. Um, so this is the Koji room. So Koji, like I mentioned, is a mold. It's Aspergillus oriz. Oh. So the reason why we need a mold in the brine process of sake is because rice is essentially all starch. The yeast has a hard time breaking down those large molecules on its own. So we have a mold which has enzymes like amylase, terosinases, things like that, that'll convert that starch into fermentable sugars. Um, so what we do, we take that cooked rice from around the corner, we'll convey it into another room that looks just like this through those sliding doors there. Um, and then we'll lay that cooked rice, that moist rice, on a bed that looks just like that. Meanwhile, we're spraying it with mold spores, we're inoculating the rice. We're going to cover it and we're going to let it hang out in here for about three days. If you notice, it is like a sauna in here. It's 90 degrees, 80% humidity. It's the oh, perfect growing temperature okay. for the mold. It gets too hot, gets too cold, the mold will die. We don't want that to happen, so we have fans that will kick on if need be. Now, if you do notice, this is cedar. More than just traditional reasons, cedar is known for an antimicrobial resin, so that just ensures nothing is growing in this room other than what we want to grow that could potentially grow in the batch. Wow. Yeah, so. Oh, that's why. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, now what were the Japanese doing thousands of years ago? Because, um, you know, sake's been around for almost 4,000 years or so. Well, all the women, so you and I would take that cooked rice, we put it in our mouth, slosh it around, and spit it into a bucket. We would use the enzymes in our saliva to convert that starch into fermentable sugars. So I'm glad times have changed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead so and the, the, in here. The really organic before. <laughs> yeah, right, right. This is cost efficient. <laughs> so uh, after we're done in there, uh, we take that, that rice, or it's now called koji can or koji rice, and we'll have workers that will scoop it into bins, and then we'll roll the bins into this room here, where it's very cold in there. We're just inhibiting the mold from growing further because we're ready for fermentation. I'll give you a closer look at that in here. Oh, that's just right, you said. Yeah, here I can show you that. It's a little bit lighter in color, a little bit spongy in consistency. If you eat it, it's actually pretty sweet. What is that? Is it rice? Is it rice? It's the it's the moldy rice. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Slightly sweet. Yeah. Have you ever stuck rice grains in your mouth at home? It doesn't really <laughs> taste like anything. Oh, we use a rice cooker. Yeah, rice cooker. I know, right, right. <laughs> so we take that koji kin and we'll put it into our moto tanks there, starter tanks. We'll add some water for nutrients, and that's when we introduce our yeast strains. All of our yeast strains are from Japan, and those account for a huge portion of the flavor that you get in the sake. So actually, if you want to come over here, we'll create that starter batch, and then we'll transfer it into an empty fermentation tank Ooh. like this one. Too well. And we'll fill about halfway up the tank with the batch, and then um, fermentation for us is about a two and a half, three and a half week process. What is that? The uh, mixing? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so we have a low fermenting yeast, so which is very similar to that of a lager beer. We bring that temperature down a little bit, let it happen at a slower rate, which ensures a cleaner profile. So now, actually, we come over here. Oh. Yeah, you can really get a nice aroma. Um, so if you see those bubbles, uh, that's the CO2 being produced, which is a byproduct of fermentation as well as alcohol. So that just indicates active fermentation. Now. Uh, all sake naturally ferments between 18 and 23 percent alcohol. Ours caps it off at about 18, 18.4. Um, most sake is actually diluted down. Um, so that's actually the rice already, huh? What's that? The rice? That's the rice. I mean, oh like... yeah, it's in there. Yeah, but this is a big layer of foam. Oh, yeah, oh it's so a foam. What you're looking at right now is foam. Oh, okay. Uh, but that, yeah, that rice is in there. In there. Yeah. Um, uh, so underneath this, this is like 
this uh, so, um, is like a thick what? spore is this uh, the uh, the uh, CO2 is uh, bad, but CO2 is what it's yeast pushing it up. So now let's see, uh, push up. this push will actually, um, like we don't want people having sake with a spoon, so the next process is actually So they're all like the same? No, actually, that's the only acid batch we have going right now. These ones are all empty because it's going to be the weekend, so oh, I think okay. they're trying to make sure everything's clean. So. So this is where filtration happens. This is called the Moromi press. It works just like an accordion. Um, we'll drain the contents of these tanks onto that machine there. It'll squeeze together. Clear liquid will come through the bottom. So now, uh, Nigori style sakes, we would use like a fine metal grating instead of like a, almost like a cheese like cloth there um, to allow some of that fi fine rice sediment to settle through so we give you a sweeter, richer profile on the sake. Wow. So now have you guys had namasake before? Oh, we, no, I, well we, Drink just sake, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. You know, okay. there are varieties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so nama means raw in Japanese. So nama sake is raw sake. It's undiluted, unpasteurized, and unaged. It's straight off the filtration press into a keg into the tasting room. You can only get nama sake at a sake brewery because it's not pasteurized. We don't bottle it because the CO2 would accumulate because it's still fermenting. Oh, so, so, so the that's the, like the most natural, I mean... Fresh, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, wow. So it's considered the brewmaster's signature because it hasn't been altered in any way. And what so, do you call them again? Namasake. Na N-A-M-A? N-A-M-A. -A? -A -A. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have some in the taste here. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but I saw in the science there that they're sulfide free. What do you mean yeah. sulfide um, Yeah, so like, uh, are you a wine drinker? Uh, sometimes what we, you know, we, what do you normally drink? Are you a beer person, hard alcohol, not not really anything? Oh, okay. Well, so oh, okay. So sulfites you get from a lot of wines. Uh, it, it's what causes like a headache or something. Um, so rice. Is it a preservative? No. No, it's from uh, the fruit. Oh, so, so it's a, a like fruit. a. Like uh, 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 what do you call this? An after like the reaction of, of the yeah, I'm not too so, sure. So, but it's not it's there. not something that they put in. Right. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but yeah, sulfites will give people headaches, and that's why a lot of people don't like like uh, wines because oh. it gives them a really bad that, headache. But that's the sulfate they're getting. Oh. Yeah. Who's, yeah. Is that's that a fast? Who's that? One. Oh. Yeah. So how many brew yeah. do you have? One. Just him. Oh wow. Yeah. It's a broom app. It's very hard to get a hang on. Yeah.